Alright, what's going on? It's Flyers. We are doing our first episode of our What If series through FHM 9. Uh, the first one we're going to do is Heraclindros going to the Rangers. Uh, for those that don't know, or haven't really been around the hockey a lot, the uh, Eric Lindros fiasco was 1991 entry draft. He was the guy. He was the prospect. He was the number one next great big thing, Sidney Crosby of the 91 era, basically. He was going to be the next Wayne Gretzky. Um, he did not want to play for Quebec. Quebec had the number one pick. So Quebec picked him. Lindros said, not playing. Like, refuse. Pay me $3 million and I'll pay play for you guys. And Quebec was like, no, no, that's too much. So history ended up being... He got traded to the Flyers. Now, the issue was was the Flyers and the Rangers had deals that were arguably around the same time, depending on who you, know, the, who you talk to about what happened. Uh, now, the deal that was agreed upon with the Rangers was uh, Alex Kovalev, Tony Monti, Sergei Nemchinov, James Patrick, Ben Beesbrook, or Mike Richter, one of them, and then multiple first-round picks and $20 million. That was a deal that was agreed upon between the Rangers and the Quebec Nordiques. Uh, was with and that got agreed on and the arbitrator said the Flyers get this trade um, it was Steve Deshane, Peter Forsberg, Ron Hextall, Kerry Huffman, Mike Ricci, Chris Simon and two first round picks also turns out that they were based off of an article from Alan Bass back in 2021 I'm gonna I'll put that in the comment down below there were a bunch of other offers that have been negotiated or at least talked about that the other teams that were in negotiations like Detroit, Calgary, Toronto, uh, even Chicago was thrown in there. So for Lindros, Quebec wanted from Detroit, Sergey Fedorov, Nick Lindstrom, Steve Chasen, Martin Lapointe, and Tim Chevelday, along with draft picks undisclosed. The Calgary, it was apparently the Flames had offered Vernon, either Al McGinnis or Gary Sutter and Joe Noondike or Robert Reichel. Which, whew. Nordiques didn't like that offer. Like, the Flames offered it, but Nordiques were like, mm, no. So imagine the Nordiques with McGinnis and Joe Newendike. Ooh. Um, Leafs. <clears throat> Maple Leafs had the, arguably the most close, but the uh, Nordiques wanted Doug Gilmore along with it. And Toronto offered Felix Potvin, Whittle Clark, Dave Ellett, Craig Berube, multiple first round picks, and $15 million. Nordiques wanted Doug Gilmore. Toronto told him to kick rocks. Chicago was also close. They, uh, they were willing to send Ed Bell for Steve Lamar and Steve Smith and a 2 4 3 swap of undisclosed picks. I'm not really sure. Uh, Nordiques had wanted $5 million additional, so that's why the Blackhawks, Bill Wirtz, told him to piss off. So that's interesting. So what we did is I made all those moves, at least the, the Rangers move. The Rangers move had gone through and simmed to 2000 to see what would happen and how people would be, how this would shape the league. Now, it was kind of surprising because the Rangers were not good. Losing all of those players, they were not very competitive during that time frame. And as you see, Lindros was, he was decent. He had up and down seasons. Hit 30 goals a couple times. Um, hit 30 goals a couple times and then topped out at 103 points compared to his real-life stats where he had a bunch of 30-goal seasons and 90-plus points three times minus all the injuries, which also might be another what-if we do. The Rangers in their... Oops. So the Rangers' history, they... Um, Rangers history from that trade, they made the playoffs one, two, three, four, five. They made the playoffs five times. Never made it to the Stanley Cup Finals and was not very good. So it turns out them losing Kovalev, James Patrick, Tony Monti was painful for them. Kept Zubov. Um, Brian Leach stayed. Ended up keeping Richter his entire career. Leach stayed his their entire career. Adam Graves was still there. Doug Waite. Uh, I think Messier might have retired. Yeah, Mark Messier retired. Do, 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 do. 
and had 100 points twice with the Rangers and then kind of tapered off. He didn't really do solid. Colorado, on the other hand, was pretty successful with this trade. Um, they never got Patrick Waugh but, and never won a championship, but they made the playoffs pretty much every year except for the lockout year. The lockout year was a weird one. They were like the second worst team in their division somehow while they're que while they're Quebec like they finished just a little bit above Ottawa so they had success for the most part and they had a lot of really good seasons they just always hit like Detroit and it history repeated itself um which was the fun part history did repeat itself Detroit was dominant absolutely dominant they won four trophy, four championships in the whole sim period. They won four championships in eight, eight of the seasons that we simmed. Jersey was also another one that was unreal, to no surprise, because they did have Broder and they still have Broder, along with you know the connection of Niedermeyer and Scott Stevens. They ended up drafting Brandon Morrison. He was really good. Garen Rolston, Holik, like they pretty much kept. Still cool to see that even with Broder, Niedermeyer, Stevens, Holik, and Lemieux, Ralston, Garen, they were still still a dominant force in the NHL in these late 90s and early 90s because they, they showed up. They only missed the first season we had, and then after that, they were just 58 wins, 51 wins, 52 wins. It was, it was unreal. The thing I'm happy about as a Flyers fan is the Flyers won two trophies. And made the playoffs every single season during this run. So, 98-99-91. They had Peter Nedved, Recky, Brenda Moore. Like, Nedved was really good. Forsberg's been decent. Uh, hasn't had the amazing career he usually has. Especially compared to his real stats. Not quite sure why. It's just he might just not have gotten a lot of play time or bad coaching or something along those lines. But I don't know. So he had a good season. And then Jersey just won this against Colorado. Like Colorado jumped into a lot of they were in they were in the conference finals pretty much every year. Damn near. Except for like one or two years they got swept. So that was just one of the cool little experiments I wanted to do. Um we're gonna do a lot more. If you have ideas on what ifs, I've already got a huge laundry list of possible what ifs I could do. Just through some research that I have done myself. But this was just a quick little video. Um, the initial video I had recorded was getting edited and it was over an hour. So I felt like that was like, eh. Yeah. So that'll be it for this episode. Uh, leave a comment. Subscribe. Like the video. If you have an idea on a what if you would like me to do, leave it in the comment down below. And I'll see you guys later. It'll be awesome.